I didn't know whether I'd find James on the cliffs. Something was telling me, though, that it was the place where he wanted to meet with William. This place looks exactly like that picture of James's. There's nothing interesting on those. A stiff mist clouds the bottom of the cliff from sight. It's at least 50 feet down, given the reverberation of the waves. First, I'll have a look around. First, maybe I should have a look around the lighthouse before I go find out who's inside. Try to remember, James. I... I heard it so many times. When I was a little boy. Trust me, I'm telling you the truth. I am Samuel. William was my friend, just as he was yours. Samuel? I don't remember the name. It's all so distant now. William raised you as a son. I just wanted to go back home. I... I sent a letter to William, but he neither replied nor came to see me. He could not come, James. It was I who found your note, and that is why I have come. Why couldn't he come? Is he ill? He... William is dead. No, I don't believe you. You're lying. He will come for me and take me home. You have to trust me, James. William died a few days ago. They found his body under the old tower. Everyone believes it was an accident, but I don't believe it. I've come to you because you can help me find the truth. Me? There's no way I could be of help. I don't believe in truth anymore. But you know something that can help me find it. You must help me. I don't even know who you are. What if you're lying to me? What if you have come to take me back? I'm your only friend now, James. If you tell me what you know, I will help you return home. Why should I trust you? Well, you don't have much of a choice. Maybe you really are my only friend. And if you're lying, it doesn't really matter anyway. I will never return there. I'd sooner kill myself than be with those people again. You won't have to if you help me. All right. I'll tell you everything you want. James, I know you used to live at the castle. Why did William leave you in Ashbury? It wasn't William. It was Robert who let me grow old in that horrible place. He put me there against William's will. He told him that I'd be better off, that I'd only stay there for a few weeks. 
that it would help me. But you never returned. He convinced William that I was getting worse and that he had to treat me for another month or two. William believed the lies and put me in Robert's care. I still have no idea why he did that to me. How could he possibly allow such a thing? So, Robert was looking to him all that time. If it hadn't been for him, I could have returned any time. Now, everything's changed. I am here, and nobody, not even Robert, is going to get me back. I hate that. Robert left for Ashbury two days ago. He said he had to leave because of something serious. No one has seen him since then, neither at the castle nor at the sanatorium. Good. Maybe he finally got what he deserved. Maybe somebody finally killed him for all his atrocities. I certainly won't miss him. Atrocities? All those secret experiments of his on the patients. He's obsessed with the idea that he's going to make a huge discovery and won't stop no matter what happens. Him who's mad. What exactly did he do? He injected all kinds of stuff into us. Some of us died. Everyone in those cells is a guinea pig to him. Why has no one ever found out? He gets away with whatever he wants. No one has ever found out. When I told him I wanted to return, he gave me a shock. After that, I didn't have a clue what was happening for two whole days. He knows very well that I could tell and ruin everything. I didn't want another dose of that stuff, so I ran away. I want you to take a look at this. I know William left a similar object in your care a long time ago. I would like to get it back. He gave it to me as a present when I was a little boy. I had long forgotten about it. William said I must take special care of it and not tell anyone. And he was very serious about it. So where is it now? Have you got it with you? No. They would have found it and taken it from me. I hid it in a safe place, right in front of everybody's noses. It wouldn't occur to anyone to even start looking there. Where? Where did you hide it? I don't know if I should tell you. William... William is dead. I must find that thing. You can't possibly imagine what I had to go through to get a hold of the other ones. All right. I will tell you. It's in the old sewers, deep under the castle. But there are no sewers there. Do you mean the cellar? There is such a place, right under the cellar. You can get there through one of the trains. Is that where I will find it? Yes. I have to leave now, James. Okay. I'll hide again.
might come in handy. I'll tie the... There's quite a lot of money in it. There's water at the bottom. I heard a splash. I won't be able to enter the underground through here. There are some coins in it. Nothing. No water. James did not lie. The secret underground exits. The air is barely breathable. What good would a fountain be in a cellar? Perhaps it would bring up the water from the well when the castle was besieged. The water here couldn't be drank as it is, though. It's like a swamp here. This mechanism probably controls the pumps in the cellar. Surely it hasn't been here since the old days. It appears to be stuck. It appears to be stuck. smells awful like a swamp. Fresh air hasn't made it down here in centuries. The water must have been standing here like this for years. It's full of floating algae and dirt. A part of some mechanism. There is so much algae in the water, the cogwheel hasn't even sunk. How can I get it out? This won't do. The rope is bending too much. My ancestors built this sophisticated system of sewers. It's rusty from the dampness. One of the rods is loose.
can't move it at all. The bars are chained and padlocked. It can't be turned. An opening of some sort. Perhaps something is missing here. I'll try to stick the rod in there. I can't do it. The rod is too thick. I'll try to sharpen the rod a bit. That should be enough. This should do better. Okay, I put the rod in the opening. I'll use the rod as a lever. Hmm, the hatch has opened, but no water is running. Richard's acid has dissolved the padlock as if it were made of paper. The water has risen to the brim of the drain channel. This won't do. The rope is bending too much. This won't do. The rope is bending too much. It's still too far. I cannot reach it. An old rod. It will have to do. It works. The mechanism is running. The water has drained into the underground system of channels. The way is free. The water is gone, but its stink has remained. 
No one has set foot down here in ages. This place is so cold, and the silence is eerie. My every step echoes all around. This must be James's chest. He had probably hidden it somewhere before the room was filled with water. Another key. James didn't lie. Some strange symbols in a circle. Hmm. The underground certainly had a different purpose in the past than just to keep the water away. Better take my medication. I'm sick from this bad air. I'll rest a couple of hours and return later. 